to the hearing, and uh, we would like to hear your testimony now, if you would. Thank you. Thank you. I want to first um, thank the honorable men and women here who can make a difference in our lives in America. I lost my family home to foreclosure and eviction, and I don't know if anybody here knows anyone or has had anyone in their family lose their home, but it's an uprooting. We were uprooted. I still have a lump in my throat, hole in my chest every time I think about it because my mother and father worked real hard to get that house. We moved into 16582 LaShure, Detroit, Michigan in 1970. When we moved into that home, we was the second black family on the block. My mother and I was, was seeking a better way of life for us and a better environment. We stayed, my mother put a roof on that home. She put in a new furnace. She put in a, in a hot water and cooler heater. She had the porch redone. She had awnings put around the house. She also had, before me and her and my father died, central air conditioned added to the home. My mother, I mean my sister and my father was GM workers. My father worked for GM almost to the day he died. He contacted cancer from working for General Motors in those foundries that was, was spitting out asbestos and lead and everything else. I'm here to say that we believed in the American dream. Most of the people who have bought homes in America believed in the American dream. Now we are, we're, we're facing the American nightmare. None of us in America would have thought that the government would turn their back on the people and not allow the people to have the kind of help that they need because the banks decided they wanted to trick and, and, and rob people of their homes. Now we can sit here all that. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that the room is not full. I don't know, maybe this is a special committee and this is the only committee that's listening to people that's really trying to save their home. But I wish that every chair was filled in this room so that they can understand the pain that's associated when you lose a home of over 40 years. We moved 40 years of memories in the cold snow like a day that we had in Detroit where it snowed all day, the ice was covered over. They threw us out in conditions like that. They took my mother's uh, 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 antique furniture and they threw it over in the dumpster. The bailiff stood out there with his gun to let us know that he would take us to jail and kill us if we tried to stop him from coming into our house. It was the most horrible and most pitiful uh, um, experience I've ever had in my life to lose a home that I lived in for 40 years. Where do you go on Christmas now? Me and my sisters are divided. We stand in apartments when we always had a home. Where do you go on Easter when, when you don't have a home anymore? What can you call, what can we call home now after all the years that my father worked at General Motors and my mother worked for a neighborhood service um, uh, agency, helping people all her life because she was an a, a investigator for JDO. And my mother, our house was paid for it. The, the part that hurts me so much, my mother told us. My mother said, don't remortgage the home if you remortgage the home, the bank is going to steal it. She was telling my friends, my young friends, who had was first time buyers, who was buying homes at that time, that was coming to my mother, didn't understand what was going on. And I'm talking about back in like 2004 and three. They didn't know that this was the beginning of, of, of foreclosure and eviction. My mother encouraged them and begged them, don't remortgage your home. A couple of them didn't, and they have their home today because they didn't. The ones that did don't have their home, they, they experienced foreclosure and eviction just like we did. I just don't know why we have to come and beg people that we put in office to work for us to work for us. What has happened to America? I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it why y'all sit here and make decisions over our lives and y'all can't see that if you throw us out of our homes, we don't have a life. Your life changed. All of you got a home. You got money. You got health care. You got the best insurance that anybody can have. You probably have the best homes that anybody can have. Don't you think other Americans want that too? 
Isn't that what America is supposed to be about? The land of the brave and home of the free? The people work. The people. The people have worked and built America what it used to be. Because America ain't what it used to be no more. My mother used to always say they're going to turn America into a third world country. Well, you just about to do it. Come to Detroit and look at the neighborhoods, how they've been ravaged by whole foreclosure and eviction. You ride down streets, there's six and seven houses on one block out of maybe 20 houses inside, 10 on the other side, seven and eight of them, 10 is foreclosure and eviction. I don't know where those people are at. I came here to tell the story of the people. Maybe if the people tell the story, y'all get it. Because ain't none of the rest of y'all being able to affect the other one. I've seen people, uh, the congressmen that have argued on behalf of the people, they get shut down. It's like they're not saying anything that anybody else is listening to. So we have to come now, and I'm going to tell you, I wasn't on the roster to come from Detroit. Once I found out that you was having a hearing, I asked my relatives, I asked my friends to give me money to come here. Just so happened it worked out. And on my way here, I missed the first plane. I broke my glasses while I was on the plane. That's where I can't read my statement. But I'm here because I'm supposed to be here representing the American people. And it's not just black people that's experiencing this. It's all people, all of the people in America. America is a melting pot. People come here because they want help. They want to be free. They want to have what we said America was. And even the people that was born here in America, those of us who claim to be American, not only are you not helping those that have came, now you're not helping us, the Americans. Why should people have to come here and tell you this? When you see it, the millions and millions of people in foreclosure and eviction, don't you want to do something about it? Don't you want to bring America back? It looks like a garbage dump now. Each city from each city, everything is falling down. It's because people stealing everything that ain't nailed down and not doing what the people put them in office to do. Ms. Uh, Hines, uh, I want to thank you so much for your uh, statement. I, I'm sorry if I appear to be angry, but I am. I'm mad as hell. Well, I And know. I thank you. I know it's my time is up. I appreciate everybody listening to me, but the bottom line, I'm going to close on this. Don't listen. Do something about it. Thank you, Ms. Hines.